Hi folks, welcome back. I got a special experiment for you today. Something I discovered about six years ago, but I haven't uh, pursued any further. Uh, many of you have probably seen the experiment uh, that's on YouTube uh, about uh, dropping a magnet through a copper pipe and it'll slow its fall. <coughs> and uh, But as far as I know, there's nobody investigating that phenomenon. Anyway, so I want to show you the uh, the experiment and the modification that I made that uh, slows the drop of the magnet even further, and uh, and then go over how I think that this could be uh, worked on and experimented with to uh, to even slow that uh, magnet's drop down through the uh, through the pipe even more. It's falling to earth by gravity, and uh, we're slowing that uh, gravity uh, effect down. Uh, so we're modifying gravity. <coughs> so let's let's do the experiment here. I've got this pipe here about it's about 20 inches long, and you can see right down through it, right there. And one of the things I want you to notice as I do this experiment is watch the magnet. It will spin as it goes down through the pipe, and it's possible to modify the direction of that spin too, which I've already done also but to demonstrate first this is just a steel ball right here ball bearing and I'm going to drop it down through the pipe so you can see it and there we go so you can see it takes less than a second to drop down through there so we'll set that aside now this is a neodymium magnet in uh, 40 I think or maybe in 42 I'm not sure but uh, it just just fits down inside that fairly close without uh, hitting anything. And now we're going to drop it down there, and I'll start counting as as soon as I drop it, and we'll see how long it takes to go down. You ready? Get it under here where you can see it. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So almost eight seconds for count to eight. Let's do it again so you can another one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right on eight seconds there. If I start right when I drop it. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now what I've got here is the same type of magnet, except I got a little piece of copper tape on one side of it and another piece on the other side of it. All right. Now we'll drop this down through there and time it. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds. All right, let's drop it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds again. See that? Ready? One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. See? Consistent, uh, consistent response every time. Eight seconds, ten seconds. And the only difference is this piece of copper tape on either side of it. I've done this with aluminum tape too and it works just as well. Matter of fact, it might work a little bit better because it's lighter. But uh, And I've tried putting uh, copper and aluminum tape around the edges here and that doesn't, uh, that doesn't do anything. Only if you put it on the top or the bottom or both. That's what I've got so far on this and I'll be back here with a diagram shortly and I'll show you how I think that this could be developed further. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you the magnetic field of these two magnets and so we can compare them and I'll show you what I think has happened here. And get up here so you can see this. This is a magnetic field viewer, this side up here. And what you do if you take your magnet and stick it under the stick it under it there. Let me get it up here close where you can see it a little better, I hope. But you can see there's a, a ring around the, see me moving it under there? There's a, there's a ring of uh, magnetic, you can see the magnetic field around it. 
and you can see a, a little bright spot in the middle too I hope okay on that one now that's the that's the regular uh, neodymium without the without the copper on it okay and now here's the one with the copper on it and you see that the magnetic field around it is uh, bigger brighter see that and it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it or not it's not really easy to see but that's the best I can show you right now so but anyway and you can also see it if you look at it on the edge view too now here's the here's the see I've got it on its edge under there and you can see a line across there and, and you can see that uh, the uh, line spreads out towards the end uh, towards the ends it's because they're a little farther away from the from the viewer, but uh, but uh, but uh, if you put this one on there, can you see how that's uh, it's also a brighter line across there too? Okay, there's the one with the copper on there. So basically, what we've done by putting the the copper on there. It we've, all we've done is squished the magnetic field out to made it like this so that there's more magnetic field coming out to the edges and that's slowing it down going through the pipe and now that's that at least a, from empirical observation that's what it looks like so what I would do next and I will do if I when I get time is I'll buy some thinner magnets that right there would would bound to help it because you don't need all this extra thicker magnet. I mean, you can get a little more magnetic field, but what counts is where it comes out. You know, so I think that a thinner magnet dropping down through there would drop even slower. And then uh, this will work with aluminum, copper, silver, or gold. And depending on which one you use, it'll it'll slow it down even more. Gold, if you could, if you had a gold pipe, you can drop that down through there. It would go down there real slow. Okay. Now, this is an N40 magnet, and I think the N stands for uh, nickel because it has it has a nickel uh, has a nickel coating on. It. Oh, and I just broke my magnet. I, they popped together and cracked that one. See that? Damn. But um, anyway, so I think that uh, means nickel 40, and I, I'm guessing the S would be a would be an S40, and G would be a G40, or whatever number for the how powerful it is. So, uh, but anyway, so if you had Let's say you had a silver uh, neodymium with a silver coating on it. What I would do is I'd scrape off the silver coating around the edge of it, leave it on the top and the bottom to block the field out and squish it out even more. Okay, so then you'd have the, a really good squisher on the top and the bottom, and it should drop down through there even slower. And the gold would should, if you did the same thing, it should even work better. Now another interesting thing about this is we know that when you move a, a copper wire through a magnetic field you generate a current okay and so as this thing's dropping down through that through that copper pipe you know it's got to be uh, generating some uh, some power too and um, how you tap that would be would be might be a problem but um, if you could tap it then you would you would keep, uh, you could produce some electricity from this thing too and another thing that I would would try uh, with this is taking another magnet and putting it down here at the bottom of the pipe with the polarity opposite to this so that when this got down there to it closer to it it would repel it and and see if that if it see if there's some point it would stop right in there and just sit there and spin or not I mean that's a, be a cool experiment to uh, try and um, you could also try uh, putting uh, applying electromagnetic fields uh, to the thing on the outside and the top and the bottom and wherever and uh, and see what kind of uh, effects you got on this but uh, this seems like there's and I oh I've already tried putting two magnets together like this too and that works also and you actually get a, a, a little more of a drop but it's a D if you try three of them uh, with this size right here uh, you lose uh, it speeds up again it's, it's too much weight uh, I guess so uh, that leads me also to believe that uh, thinner magnets put two or three thinner magnets together you could you could slow it down even more I think I uh, uh, I, can, well, I can't remember it's been a while since I did the experiments but uh, two magnets uh, put together with the 
with the stuff on the top and the bottom definitely worked a little bit better okay so uh, anyway um, that's all I've got on this one right here I hope you found it uh, informative and uh, and fun <laughs> that's the purpose of experimenting is to hopefully learn something and have some fun while you're doing it. and uh, one more thing I forgot uh, if you could size your magnets so that they just fit down inside the uh, copper pipe uh, with a closer tolerance I think that would squish that field even more and I think it would drop even slower down through the pipe so uh, anyway I think sizing the magnets is, uh, is another important part on this okay thanks for watching and I'll see you next time